this is a, a generic dashboard that you can install and configure on top of HTTPM. And so I'm going to actually log into a PPM instance. And what I've done is enabled an analytics dashboard on the PPM dashboard. And, and so part of installing this is enabling it on, on PPM. And so when you click on the analytics dashboard, we've really, in the first release of this, focused on three or four different areas, but specifically looking at, at the project health and the status. And um, this is 100% configurable. So you can configure from what you see in the tabs to what the filters are specific to your data. And the installation of this will take less than a day on somebody's PPM environment. So we configure what project types you're looking at, what project statuses you want to bring into this. And even as we drill into this, I'll show you additional configurations that, that you can do within the solution. But, but fundamentally, I'm running this against the PPM instance, and you can actually get back to the PPM instance by going here and then come back to the, the dashboard so you can switch back and forth. And so the, this first visualization shows basically all of my projects and their overall health cost schedule and issue health coming directly from the PPM projects. And you can filter this. So in this case, I have several business units within PPM data structure, so I can filter it, say, down to the delivery business unit, and that will actually go out and show me the project status, et cetera, for those. And then you can drill into, like, those projects that are specifically read from a schedule health perspective. And then what happens when you drill in is you get a list of all of the fields that are standard project fields plus the field group. And then if you have, and everybody has, enabled their own fields on the project request, you can configure those fields to show up in this listing. And you can sort by these fields just by double clicking. As an example, you can you know, add additional columns to this view or remove columns. And you can see these are all of the field group fields. So we have things like the total score and the value rating, the risk rating. Those all come from the project field group when you assign a project type in PPM. And so that's kind of the visualization of the table view. All of the tables are exportable to Excel, and it's a true Excel export. So when you click on it, it actually will open up in Excel, and it's a true XLS export. And so you get the visualization of the data in Excel and can do what you want to do. Um, they're also exportable to PDF um, throughout. All of the tables export to Excel, and then the others export to PDF. So you can drill into the, the projects. You can drill into the risks and show the list, listing of risks that are associated in a, in a particular. And once again, we included the field group field. But if on your risk request type you had additional field, it's, it's a simple configuration to be able to add those fields to the solution. Now, the other thing that you can do within the scope of this is, and I'll show and this is the primary reason for launching this from PPM, is the ability to update project statuses. So we've built that in. So I'm going to search for my name. And what that's going to do is search all of these project fields for my name. And I'm going to pull up a specific project here and click on it and update the project status report. So this is actually the project status report. You can see all of these fields within this editable block, like description and executive status, plan start, recent accomplishments. All of these fields are configurable. So you can choose which fields you want to be editable within the project status report. And so you and, and because I'm the project manager and logged into PPM as Arcane, um, it, and because I'm the project manager, it allows me to edit this. So I can actually go in and then edit my project status and use rich text editing for the fields that I've allowed edit on, which is configurable. And so you can see like the plan start and finish, they're just they're not editable and that's a configuration. And so you can like put in um, you know additional stuff and then go ahead and, and update that. And you'll notice that that will change the last updated. And so we keep multiple versions of that project status report 
within within the solution. And so really what's in here is these fields that you can edit. So you've got your schedule, cost, and issue house, your overall health, these configurable set of fields. And you can have, a, have an unlimited number of these that come in this section. And then we have the risks, issues, and scope changes. These are the same tables that you drill in the other. And then we have a, a visualization of the milestones. If you want to add a section of information, that's also configurable, a section of information to the project status report. And then you can export this project status report to PDF, and then you can mail it or do whatever you want to do with that PDF. So that's the project status reporting capability. And so I can update it if I'm the project manager from the PPM security perspective. And I'm going to just search for projects that I don't manage. And I'm just going to search for um, Cody as an example and pull up a project that Cody manages. And you'll see here that I can't edit uh, the project status report. So that security is controlled and enabled from PPM. So that's kind of an overview of the project page. The next page is really a roadmap page where we, we basically look at the project roadmap and give you a, a visualization of, of what's here. So I'm, I'm kind of going to bring this in where, where we can see an example, a list of roadmaps, and you see the overall effort that's in that, or a list of projects, and you see their health. You can see some uh, proposals that are identified in the gray. And then you can actually drill into either any of these as well. Now, what you see here is configurable. And then you can actually get to the project status report from here as well. So if you're looking at the roadmap, you can get that visualization of the, the projects and what's being executed and what the, what the size of those projects are. And then the third piece is, is the, the resources tab. And this, this is really focused on looking at your demand versus capacity of overall resources and their associated utilization. So these filters, too, are configurable. We've got this configured where it, it has some roll-up resource pools and then child pools. But if you're looking at the overall organization, I basically have 31.25 FTEs in March. You can drill through and change the dates. And so if I'm looking at March, I have 31.25 FTEs. The utilization is currently at 139%. I can switch between FTEs, hours, and days, and all of the associated things will switch. So you can see, as an example, I have 31 and a quarter FTEs in capacity, and that's consistent across the timeline. But if I change that to hours, it becomes variable because of holidays and other things. So we look at the calendars and we look at the working days and ensure that we have the right capacity. Um, and even in person days, you can see it's variable. And then each of these is drillable. So if you want to look at the capacity, you can see the capacity by resource pool. And if you want to look at the utilization, you can see that utilization percentage by resource pool. And then if you want to drill in and see the specific projects or, or workload categories that you're executing against, you can drill in and then actually get to the project status report for those. So that's one visualization of resources. And then if we go to the next page, I'm going to actually show you, and I'm going to focus back on this delivery organization. And so we look at the demand versus capacity, and we've got a couple of different drill down capabilities here. So this shows me as being 153% overutilized in the current period. We're making the assumption that all on-med demand, if that were met, would make us overutilized. But you can drill in and see specifically, um, in this case, by each resource, what they're assigned to. And so you ultimately get a table of every resource that's in that resource pool and what projects they're assigned to within the current period. And then this is exportable to Excel as well, so you can take it outside and work on it. Similarly, on the on-net demand, we've actually done this by role, so you can get a visualization of the demand by role for the resource pool and who's assigned to what, and that, that too is exportable. Um, and once again, you can drill in and see the specific resources within 
the pools so you get a full visualization of the resources within the pools. And you can even drill in to look specifically at what is the on-met demand in the period. And this is actually broken by role so that you can see all of that. And then you can search it by sorted by project name, et cetera, within these tables. And once again, they're all exportable to Excel. Um, 